cool guys, I promise here. And as you see, I've just come back from school. Yes, I'm back. I'm, I'm back now after half term. I'm not. I barely. I actually haven't uploaded anything in half term. I am a crap YouTuber. Anyway, um, I'm here with rant. Yes, finally after how many bloody decades? I, I can't count. I don't know even why I'm secondary school. But anyway, I'm here with rant about politics. That bundle of joy, full of David Cameron's, Theresa May's, Donald Trump's. Oh God, Donald Trump's. Bloody Hillary Clinton, all of that bundle of joy that is politics. It's not joy. Um, if you have the delight of never having to deal with politics, it's just literally a complete. Just, just the pe Let's imagine, imagine this scenario: a bunch of people in a room. Uh, the boss leaves, and then they're arguing about who should be in charge, like a bunch of children who should get the chocolate bar. That was the worst analogy ever. But that's literally what po politics is. A bunch of posh people squabbling over who should be in power. Even going as far to make advertisements disgracing other people's names. For example, the Conservatives. They're disgracing... I forgot his name. Jeremy Corbyn, is that his name? I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered. I don't like anyone in the politics around. Because it's just a bunch of squabbling. That is my first point. It's just all squabbling. Everyone's saying this, saying that. Shout disgracing on people's names, ruining their reputations, cheating with the, like, trying to make people see as they're a bad person, using snippets, taking things out of context. Oh my god, this is going to be annoying, so I'm taking off my glasses. That's much better. Yeah, because now you can't, you can't see the proper whiteness. My second reason is why I hate politics. It's just because their motives. They never stick to their motives. They say some, one thing and they never end up doing it. Like, I believe, like, I bet, I don't look into most of them because I don't have to worry about that for now. But my family was going to, like, we're kind of torn who we're going to vote for, probably the Liberal Democrats or the Labour, because Conservatives are a bunch of douches. It's just true. Everyone knows it. Unless you're rich, they have no interest in you. Like, at least Labour, I believe it's Labour that's going to give me the chance when I go to uni to have a free university thing, which I think is pretty good, but they probably won't follow through here because all politicians are a bunch of liars and douches. Like, there's been yet one party that has actually fully stuck to their whole agenda or not bent the truth or bent their things to say, oh, well, we, we did do this sort of, or we did do that. I'm like, just shut up. Shut up. Like, you can probably... Let me, let me get something up here. Look, F11. Well, how? Let me go to... Oh, look, it's a bit darker now. See, look, I was prepared. I even got a little background for it. Times party political I just, oh God, what the hell is this? Give me all. I don't want images. All politics. Look, literally Everyone lies. I can't even be bothered to go through it because it'll just be for, for ages, but everyone lies and it's just utter annoyance because it's just, it's just a the whole thing of he did this and she did that and I'll do this, but not really, crossy fingers. They're just a bunch of squabbling children. Like, no one... There's no true way to govern humans because I've... Not humans, I'm not a human. Da -da -dun. There's no real... There is a way to govern humans... Oh my god, I've got to say something. There's uh, people. There you go. People. That bell. What are you saying? Actually, I don't identify as human. I identify as a goldfish. Um, but I feel like there is a proper way to do it. But us as a species, most of us are dumb, including me. Uh, and just ignorant, including me. I'm just, I'm not ignorant that much, but I'm quite ignorant. Um, so, communism. Mm -mm. No, that never worked out. It can never be done right because people always try and go in charge. There always has to be a leader. Socialism, democracy, it's kind of working, but it's failing so much. Like, oh, mouse. Um, it's failing so much, like, with the people in power. We've got bloody neo-Nazis for just leaders. We've got bloody, what's his name? What's, what's the... Sorry, guys, I'm, looking, I'm just making this run on the spot. I, I should, next time it'll be more organised than that, but... Uh, Australia... Uh, Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Oh, Malcolm Turnbull. 
Well, it used to be Tony Abbott, and Tony Abbott was a huge racist. I don't know about Malcolm Turnbull, but Tony Abbott was a huge neo, like racist and neo Nazi. Uh, we also have. Oh God, what's this? We also- <laughs> sorry, I'm going extremely off topic here. We also we had Theresa May. Oh God, Christ Almighty, please help her. Um, we also had, as you can see, I have a brown pen I'm just fiddling with. Donald, we had Donald Trump, oh God, like, seriously, what, America, you, you messed up hugely, like, we're messing up over here in Britain, with all of our bloody racism, everyone, everywhere has racism, anywhere you go will have racism, but over here it's just getting out of hand, and that bloody people wearing socks on their head, and that, just, it's just stupid, but just, there's no real way to govern people properly, I feel like nowadays it's all about, I'd rather have a king and queen, because at least then you'd know who to blame, or you can at least pin something on. Whereas now politicians are like, no, it was my party that made me do this. Oh no, they took it out of context, and the media's just the media's just blown this up. They're like, oh yes, look at this, all this controversy. Give us the monies. We love the monies. Please, more controversy. And to be fair, I, pr- I think most prime ministers, and um, yeah, most prime ministers or any government figure probably sells out to the. Government one or twice, and that there have been their good their presidents, prime ministers, anything. There have been like Barack Obama. That's the only one I can name because I don't anymore. And I don't care anymore. But see, look, ignorance. Um, there have been good ones, but everyone has their flaw. Like I can't remember. I'm literally searching this up now, by the way. Live. This is like Barack Obama flaws. You can just literally type this in. Why back Yep. Fail, fail. The promises, shortcomings, and facts to come. It's just it's too much lies. It's too much failure, and just trying to. It's a he she game of said he said this and he said that, and I really just this is why I hate the mock. See, like I just can't. This is why I never want to become a politician. I want to become a solicitor, which is kind of cool, honest to be honest. But it's more of like talking about the law, because there are ways to come around the law, and I want to kind of fix that to help or use that to my advantage to help other people my clients and that to do that so I can't wait to have to do that for six do my training and apprenticeship for six years that's going to be bloody great uh but anyway just don't don't ever try and get into bloody politics politics is just long if you want to become a politician like I know one of my friends wanted to become a politician if you want to become a politician that's great you just got to be a very good liar for one very childish I'm joking but yeah, I just want to, one for once, I want a party that tells the truth, doesn't go, you know, yeah, 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 and post like propaganda. Like, there's, there's all tons of propaganda. I, I, look, what is this? Not propaganda, like bloody things. Conservative advert. Conservative advert. Look at this. Look. Look at all these adverts. Look, look at all the look at all these bloody political mess. It's almost as bad as bloody Donald Trump's hair. And that's horrible. Right, if you like I could prob right, let's see how good my editing skills are. I'm gonna photoshop a picture of Donald Trump onto my face right now. See look, that's a horrible face. You wouldn't want that as a party leader. But America has to have that, and then we have to have this face. Well, we had that face. Get rid of that. We we have we have tons. Let's show let's show the candidates. We got bloody. What's his? Right, let me get the candidate. I'm actually. Let's show the guy. Right. Sorry guys, I am horrible at this. Uh. Oh, uh, you got. Is it Jeremy Corbyn. We got Jer- Yeah, is this the right person? Yeah. We got Jeremy Corbyn, the bloody peace-loving, non-violence Labour Party leader who's most of the people betrayed them, or him, not them, he's multiple people. Then we had Theresa May with haircut. Let me just get Theresa May haircut. Theresa May. Let's show this woman. She's hideous. When I say about like, she, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to any 
one and he thinks she's pretty. She looks like a zombie. She actually, like, half of her... Oh, my God. Like, she's a zombie. She's a zombie person. And then we have... Who else is in... Simon Hughes? That, that guy? Yeah, that, I don't really like. Hit me up with that Simon. Simon Hughes. Hughes. Simon Hughes. Oh, wrong person. Hughes. Uh, look at this. Look at him. He just all, he just looks weird. I'm sorry. He looks like he's just always sweating. He looks like one of them lot. But all I'm saying is, political parties suck. Most political people are ugly. It's a game of he said this and he said that. And I hate politics. Thank you for listening. I've been Epicornus. I've been Roger. Right, the editing. Do me like confirmed. Um, I don't want to say peace anymore because that's just bloody. I said that too many times. Mm, triangle eyebrows. Uh, goodbye.